Recurring tasks in Microsoft Planner has been high in demand for quite some time. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create those recurring tasks in Microsoft Planner and also how to create and manage tasks via Microsoft Teams through Planner. You want to make sure that you go to tasks.office.com, log in to gain access to your Planner. Once you're in, as you're seeing here, I will go to add task. I'll enter this ta task as testing one, add the task. And as you can see, the task is there. And then click on it and go to repeat. And this is where you would set recurring tasks, but it's daily, weekdays, weekly, monthly, yearly, or if you want to do it from a custom standpoint. So I'll do daily for this particular one. The due date is automatically set for today, uh, which is a current date. And what I'll do is put a subtask, one subtask, and call it test one. Once that is done, I have the show card enabled. So you will see that subtask. And you'll see that loop arrow, which means this is recurring. Once you complete this task, it will go away as completed, and it will generate the next day task for this, which is the 31st. Another thing that you can do is that, let's say that reviewing on the 31st, you realize that you have some additional subtasks, and let's add, add test two. You can do that. And what that does is from the 31st going forward, you will have those subtasks listed in it. So you can modify your task for current going forward without having to create one from again from scratch. So I'll do that again, complete task one, the task one under the, the task umbrella, testing one. And then the 1st of November, it shows both. Now you can go ahead and assign as per usual with a task to whatever member you want to assign it to. You can go ahead and delete this task as well. Upon deleting, it will ask if it's this task or this and future tasks that you want to delete. I'll leave it at that. Now, another thing is that, and this is where I'm going with the rest of the tutorial, is that you can always select open Microsoft Teams or you can open Teams since you have it open already. And what this shows is exactly what you're seeing here, but I'll do the rest of the tour for Microsoft Teams. So one, First step, I'll go ahead and delete this from Microsoft Teams, this and future. It takes a while to sync since it's a refresh on that side, but eventually you'll see that adjustment. And then what I want to simulate is a testing tool. Now, this is, let's say that you had a task that was set for the 29th, right? And it was a daily task it will show as red obviously because the day has gone and you have not completed that task the importance of this is that you cannot progress to the next task which would have been the 30th of october until you have completed the task prior to so you can see here that the delete what i did for deleting that initial task has gone from plano and they created the testing tool is in Planner. Now, Teams is not doing this localized in Teams. It's actually doing it in Planner. It's just giving you that, that mirror, that face from Teams to allow you to be able to do that. So what I'll do now is go ahead and select this as completed. And it will pop in for the 30th of October for the next. So now I'm able to progress to the next day, which is the current day. Eventually that will be synchronized here. I hope this was informative for you. Have a good one.